I'm Adrian Peterson of the Minnesota Vikings, and you're watching Press Pass TV. What's going on, Press Pass TV? You here with Daryl Reed? You already know me, and we're here at my alma mater, taking a look at probably the biggest sport here, you know, in the state of Minnesota, hockey. Taking a look at our our Gopher facilities, you know, probably the best rink in college hockey, right here in the state of Minnesota, University of Minnesota. You know, just take a look around. We get 10,000 in here. We got all types of Hobie, Hobie Baker Award winners, all types of All-Americans floating around here. You know, and we just gonna take a look at these facilities, catch up with a couple of NHL players, maybe some of the current players, and show y'all what Gopher Hockey is all about. We're here with former Gopher great hockey player, Ryan Patoni. He's gonna give us a little tour of their hockey facilities. So Ryan, what we got going on in this room? We're here at the rink uh, at the University of Minnesota. This room here is some of the jumps we do. We got the, uh, the Russian box jump here. Uh, work on your explosive, a lot of hockey stuff, skating strides, stuff like that. What does that do, man? It's like, uh, like a skating stride when you're bent like that. You're pushing off almost like you're skating. So these guys are yelling at me to get deeper on those. Over here is probably the coolest thing that we've got in the, uh, in the rink, in the, tw in the training room, in the weight room. It's a uh, skating treadmill is what it's called. It's plastic ice, and it works just like a treadmill. It spins like that, and it can elevate and everything. You, you really work on your stride and your conditioning with that, and those machines are pretty hard to come by, so for us to have one of those in here, it's, it's nice for the guys to be able to work on that. How do these facilities compare to the pro facilities? These, these are top-notch. I mean, I was in Philadelphia the last two years, and... This weight room we have here is probably better than the one we had out there, so can't ask for much more. And, and the, Cal Dietz does a great job with us, the strength coach here. He helps us out a lot, you know, with, with writing us programs up and making sure we're in here doing stuff. And a lot of the guys come back, a lot of the, the ex-players come back here and work out in the summer. And a lot of the current players are here too. We come in here together and push each other, which is it helps out a lot. Now with Grant Tony, another one of the Gopher hockey greats, and he's going. Give us a little tour of the weight room here and uh, tell us what they got going on. You know what, it's a good time that you're coming in because some of the uh, current players are in here right now. This is one of the uh, women's players. She's uh, doing a step up jump uh, on the legs. Over there is all the bikes where we do all the bikes and stuff. All these here are all these platforms. They can be used for bench if you pull the bench in there. Right now they're using them for squats. It's a legs day. Uh, they do cleans on it. They put, a, they put a quote up there. Those who stay will be champions. Um, we're doing that because they were trying to, you know, this, this is like a hockey factory and, and people are, uh, you know, if you're getting a chance to go to the NHL, that's, that's great. But it's just if you stay maybe one more year, you might get a chance to be a champion. Up here you have all the national champions. Um, I was here for, for two of those, uh, 02 and 03, we went back to back. This is a quote we live by in the, on the, in the weight room over here on the wall. This weight room has trained all Americans, Hoey Baker Award winners, national champions, and Olymp world Olympic champions. Don't disgrace their efforts by giving less than 100%. And that's what we try to live by in here. It's Teen Wolf, Kyle Polso. <laughs> the newest New York Islander right here, baby. Uh, uh, say something, say hi to somebody. I don't even know how this is for, hello. This is just uh, uh, behind the scenes, going oh, in the room. Want to say hi? Okay, I'd like to say hi to my mom, then. You know, she's, uh, she's a beautiful woman, she brought me to this world. Last night I took her out for ice cream. <laughs> We're down in the locker room here. They got pictures up on the wall. They got some quotes, some sayings. Um, if you come in here, the big thing, big thing in here is you don't step on the M. If you uh, if you step on the M, back back in the day it was twenty dollar fine, and that's a lot of money. And you're in college, twenty bucks will kill you. Everybody's got their own stall. Um, coaches come in, kind of give us uh, their speech up there, get a pregame plan going. This is where uh, this is where the money goes if you if you step on it or if you you end up taking. Taking somebody uh, doing something you're not supposed to do, or somebody catches you uh, with some girl you're not supposed to be with, <laughs> making out at the bar or something, you got to pay the sin bin. When we get in here every day, we, you know, you're coming in here from class or whatever. You come back here and you change into your, what change into your gitch, whether it's you're going to work out or whether you're going to, uh, you know, going to skate or whatever. And uh, back here is I wonder if we'll see if he's in here. The Mad Bomber, Harry Broadfoot. He's the uh, equipment guy. There he is. There's the stick man right here. I need a quote up here. <laughs> we 
We got, uh, you come in here and you ask for a stick. Harry, what do you say when I ask for a stick? Do you really need one? <laughs> <laughs> this is the man that makes it all happen, Harry Broadfoot, right here, the equipment guy. How many years you been, how many years you been working for the Gulfs, Harry? Uh, with hockey, 22 years. 22 years. Yeah. And basketball before that, how many? Uh, all total, 36. 36 years. Yep. Working back here. What do you think you spend a year on sticks, Harry? Uh, probably about 80 grand. 80 grand a year on sticks. It's nice to have for, you bring food in on top. for 20 players. And they're all uh, custom remember. made. And <laughs> come back here and just ask. Harry hooks you up. This is uh, up here. We have we have some tradition, and these are uh, the national championships. All up here, all four of them. 03 right there in Buffalo, and then this one was uh, in 02. We beat Maine in uh, in St. Paul. So that's uh, Neil Broughton scoring the game-winning goal against North Dakota. Uh, the year before they won the uh, Miracle on Ice Olympic, uh, he played here for, the, for uh, his freshman year. This is all the All-Americans that uh, played at Minnesota. If you're an All-American, you get a, you get a picture on your, your picture on the mural. And uh, this is kind of like the uh, old era over here. Right here is the, you know, the more current All-Americans. It's a pretty big honor to be an All-American. Uh, you know, I, I think that... If you told the kid when he came here that he could be an All-American and he would uh, and get his picture up on this mural, it really means something because you're up here forever. And, you know, wherever they move the rink, whatever they do, they keep putting you up here so you know, you're part of Gopher Hockey history forever. I think the coolest part about this rink is just walking around the outside and seeing all the tradition. Most hockey rinks in college, when you go there, you know, it's pretty dry, pretty, you know, the stands, and then they got the concessions and stuff. But when you walk around this rink, it's pretty cool. I actually played with a kid who played at Maine and uh, I played pro hockey with him, and he said, you know, we had to come into your building for the regionals, and when we saw that we had to play you guys, you know, we, th we thought, oh, we're screwed, and then we walked into the building, and we saw this stuff, and he said, we don't have a chance. <laughs> so for that to be, you know, the rink that you play in, it's pretty cool to have the tradition that we have here at Minnesota. This building is, is an Olympic-sized ice sheet. It's, uh, it's actually bigger than the NHL size, and the reason they did that is uh, when they built this building, they were still sending guys, college guys, to the Olympics, and uh, the Gophers usually had about six to eight guys in each team, so um, they built it a little bit bigger. But when this uh, this place is going on Friday and Saturday night, there's like a, I think there's like a two-year wait for a for a ticket to come into this game. If you want season tickets, you got to be on a two-year waiting list. So um, it gets pretty rowdy in here, and especially when you're playing a you know a big rival like Wisconsin or North Dakota or Michigan or something, uh, there'll be 10,000 people in here, you know, doing the rouser. It's pretty fun. Growing up, I'm from New Jersey. I'm, I wasn't into hockey. It was basketball, football, you know what I'm saying? I came out to the University of Minnesota, caught up with some hockey boys, moved next door to him, in particular a guy named Ryan Petoni, and uh, I came to my first hockey game. Uh, seen a couple of my neighbors score, a couple of my good friends, and started, started falling in love with hockey, and I still watch it to this day. I was in some VIP seats right over there by the Wendy sign when I seen my boy Ryan Petoni score. I don't, it was probably his 10th goal of the season or something. You know, he, he's, up, he's up to be an All-American, Hobie Baker Award finalist, things like that. Um, and I just ran down to the glass and started banging on it. That's what you're supposed to do, baby. Get it going, you know what I mean? It's right up there with, you know, some of the, the top professional facilities, I'd say. And just how loud it gets in here, too, how the, the stands are so straight up and the fans are right on top of you. And, Minnesota's got pretty good hockey fans. They know the game pretty well, so they get into it too. So that's it's pretty special when you're coming out or when you score a goal and the 10,000 fans are screaming. It makes it uh, pretty exciting. But we're about to get out of here, you know. We've been here. We toured the facilities. And I think it's time to go. Press Pass TV. Check us out.